Hey YouTube, I have here some silicone oil, some powdered mica, and a hot plate in order to demonstrate Rayleigh Bennard convection cells. The mica powder has nothing to do with the convection cells, but it turns the silicone oil into a rheoscopic fluid. This means literally current showing fluid. This will allow us to see the movement of the oil through its entire depth. As the oil heats, we can see a pattern forming in the mica powder. This pattern is Bernard cells caused by Rayleigh Bernard convection. As the oil at the bottom of the dish begins to warm, it becomes less dense and thus more buoyant and begins to flow to the surface. Once it reaches the surface, it begins to spread out because the surface tension of a warm oil is less than that of a cool oil. The cool oil begins to pull together at the edges of the Bernard cells, pulling the warm oil away from the center. Once the oil has reached the edge, it begins to cool and sink down to the bottom of the dish where it can be reheated, forming a feedback loop. Once the cells form, they are very stable provided that the temperature doesn't drastically change. Taking a look with the infrared camera, we can see this temperature gradient across the Bernard cells. At the center of each cell, it is much warmer than at the edges, forming this dark grid across the surface of the oil. Whether or not the Bernard cells form is determined by a non-dimensional parameter called the Rayleigh number. The Rayleigh number is the acceleration due to gravity times the thermal expansion coefficient of the oil divided by the viscosity of the oil times the thermal conductivity of the oil. All of this is multiplied by the temperature difference from the bottom of the container to the top multiplied by the cube of the height of the liquid column. When the Rayleigh number for the system reaches 1708, it becomes unstable, and Bernard cells can form. I hope you found this video interesting, and if you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.